everyone i'm back with a reaction video so back in fall 2021 i applied to law schools about 26 and i filmed myself reacting to all the videos um i don't have the best reactions but um i wanted to share my reactions with you all i wasn't able to film every single one of them i think i missed maybe like three or four but the rest i did get my reaction to them some of the schools i was waitlisted to rejected and accepted to and so yeah why don't we go straight into the video and watch my reactions today is november 19 and i think i saw an email that says my decisions came out for one of the schools i applied to so I already found out the decisions for two schools um, from University of San Francisco and University of New Mexico. So I didn't think the decisions would come out this early, so I wasn't able to, you know, film my reaction. But um, gladly, I was accepted to both schools. So let's check the email. It says decision notification, which I think I didn't get in because it usually says congratulations, I think. So it says, Dear Miss Lee, after careful evaluation of your application, blah, 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 I regret to inform you that we cannot offer you admission for fall 2022. Um, so yeah, um, I did not get into Arizona State University, which I sort of expected because it is a reach school for me. Today is December 6th, um, and I think I received an email earlier today. I just checked my email um so it says your southwestern law school admission decision okay so it says dear drew congratulations and welcome to southwestern law school you have been admitted to the traditional day program as a member of the fall 22 entering class today is december 8 and i was going through reddit at work and i found out that uc hastings had some decisions released so i applied to uc hastings so i want to check if i got my decision so why don't we go ahead and check my email or the status checker okay, well, my email okay it says uc hastings admission decision um it says dear drew congratulations i'm delighted to offer you admission to the uc hastings class of 2025 so yeah, apparently I got admitted to UC Hastings. I did not expect that at all, honestly, because I'm below both of their medians. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish reading the email. Today is January 11th, and I haven't checked my emails for like the past few weeks because of the holidays. Um, so I'm going to go through my email and see if I've received any decisions so far. Uh, let's see. Um, so I received my decision from Pepperdine. It says, Dear Julie, I regret to inform you the admissions committee has denied your application to the Pepperdine University. So yeah, I've been denied with Pepperdine. Um, I'm not too shocked, but yeah. Oh, so I've received a decision from UNLV, which is University of Las Vegas. Um, it says, Dear Drew, I would like to thank you once again for applying. While we are unable to offer you admissions to the fall 2022 entering class at this at this time, we wish to offer you a place on our waitlist for possible admissions should seats in the entering class become available prior to the start of classes. Okay, so um, I was, I guess, waitlisted at Vegas. Um, so yeah, today is still the 11th. Um, I was going through my emails again and I saw a decision email um, I didn't open it but I want to open it up with you all so let me see yeah because this is admissions Denver Law JD program and I can't really know because it doesn't really say anything um, so it says dear Drew thank you for your application the faculty admissions committee is seriously considering your application, but due to the number of available positions in our entering class, you have been placed on our wait list for the entering class of 2022. Okay, so um, I've been waitlisted to Denver and I forgot to mention and didn't really record my reaction, but I also got accepted to University of Dayton back in um, November 22nd. Um, 
So yeah, today is Friday, January 14, and I haven't checked my emails for a few days, so I thought I um, might as well check my emails. Um, let me see. First one I see is from USC. It says USC Gold School of Law Decision Letter. Dear Miss Lee, thank you for your interest and for submitting application. Unfortunately, we will be unable to offer you a space in the fall 2022 entry class. Okay, so I got rejected from USC. Um, I It was expected, I guess. Um, okay, so I got another email. It says, congratulations from Seattle U Law. Dear Jew, congratulations. I am delighted to inform you that you have been admitted to the full-time fall division of the entering class of 2022. So I got one rejection from USC and one acceptance from Seattle U. That's cool. Oh, so I got an email from Harvard Law School. Status update is available. So I'm assuming that I got rejected because I know that they call you if you got accepted. Status update, you update. Dear Jew, thank you for applying to Harvard Law School. After careful consideration, the admissions committee is unable to offer you admission to the class of 2025. Okay, so I got rejected from Harvard. Um, it was sort of expected. I just wanted to shoot my shot. Today is January 20th and I just signed into my email and I saw some emails um, that just says status update. So I wanted to check the email with you all. So the first one I saw right away was status update from University of Arizona Law. Um, I clicked it, it just says new update on your status page. Um, hi Ju, there have been an update. Click here to view this update. So I'm gonna click it. Logging in. Thank you for submitting your application. We are excited you have taken this important step to becoming a wildcat. On this page, you will be able to. Where is the application status? Oh, oops. Um, so I have to click the view update. Um, it says status update, view update. Dear Ju, thank you for your interest in the University of Arizona. Our admission committee has reviewed your application and placed you on our wait list for the fall 2022 entering class. Okay, so I got waitlisted at University of Arizona and I have another email. It says SJ Quinney School, oh, SJ Quinney College of Law decision email. Dear Julie, the admin admission committee for the University of Utah has completed review of your application for admission. It is with regret that I must inform you that committee's decision is to deny your application. Okay, so um, I got denied at University of Utah and waitlisted at University of Arizona today. Today is January 21st and I just logged into my email and it says uh, application review update. So I wanted to open up the email with you all. It's from University of Colorado Law School application review update greetings from colorado law i'm writing to provide you with an update on your application for admission to the fall 2022 entering class our admission committee has completed the initial review of your application was so impressed with your qualification that we would like to place you on a priority wait list i got placed in the priority wait list i'm not really sure what it is so i'm just going to go ahead and finish reading the email that just came in. Today is January 21st and I'm at work and I was checking my email. Notice that I got a email that says application update. So why don't I go ahead and open up the email with you all. Okay, it says, Dear Julie, after careful consideration of your application, the admissions committee at Chapman School of Law would like to inform you that you have been placed on our wait list for the fall 2022 entering class. Okay, so I've been waitlisted at Chapman. Um, that's interesting because I honestly did not expect to be waitlisted at Chapman. Um, okay, um, so yeah, I've been waitlisted at Chapman today. Today is the 21st again, and I checked my email again, and I got a status update. So I want to open up the email with you all. So let's open it up. Um, okay, so it says, your UC Davis Law application. Um, Dear Jew, I regret to inform you that we cannot offer you admission to the UC Davis School of Law. Um, yeah, so I got rejected from UC Davis. Today is January 25th and I got an email from UCLA 
so I wanted to open it up. Um, a little nervous. I know that I wasn't accepted because I know they call you. So let's see what the email says. It says, Dear Julie, after careful consideration of all aspects of your life, the admissions committee regrets to inform you that your application for admission to UCLA School of Law has been denied. Okay, so I got rejected from UCLA. Today is January the 28th and I received an email from Penn State. Um, so I wanted to open up the email with you all. It says, Dear Ju, thank you for your application to Penn State Dickinson Law. I'd like to commend you for putting together a terrific file. After careful review of your application materials, our admissions committee would like to offer you a spot on our wait list. Okay, so I got waitlisted. Um, I thought this was a rejection email, but um, so I'm waitlisted at Penn State Dickinson. Today is um, February 9th, and I got an email that my decision came out for OSU. So I want to check my decision email with you all. I'm a little nervous. Um, it says OSU Moritz College of Law decision. Okay. Dear Ju, your application for admission to OSU has been reviewed carefully using the criteria established by the admissions committee. I regret to inform you that we are unable to grant your request for admission to the entering class. Um, so yeah, so I got rejected from Ohio State. Today is February 11th and I got an email a few hours ago that I got a decision from Boston University. So I want to check my decision. Um, I don't think I got in, but I'm still pretty nervous. Um, so let me click. It says Boston University School of Law application decision. Dear Drew, I regret to inform you that the admissions committee of Boston University is unable to offer you admission to the fall 2022 entering class. Okay, so apparently um, I got rejected from Boston. Today is February 14 and I got an email from Northeastern saying that my decision is rendered. So let's check that. Says, Dear Ju, thank you for your application. Your admission decision is now available online through the application status check. Um, check your application status now. Logging on. It says, thank you for your application to Northeastern University School of Law. The admissions committee has completed its review of your application to Northeastern. We would like to offer you a spot on our wait list. Oh wow, I completely thought I was uh, rejected. I've been getting so many rejections, so this is interesting. Um, yeah, so I think I will stay on the wait list. But yeah, um, I got waitlisted at Northeastern, which is better than a rejection. Um, so yeah. Today is February 18, and I got my decision email from Berkeley. So I wanted to open it. Um, I'm so nervous because I'm pretty sure I got rejected, but let's see. Okay, it says Berkeley Law School application decision rendered. Dear Drew, after thoroughly reviewing your application for admission to Berkeley, the admissions committee has decided with regret not to offer you a place in the entering class. Um, yeah, and then they just talk about transferring if... It remains my first choice but yeah as expected but it sort of sucks but i got my rejection from berkeley today it is the 11th and my decision came out for irvine your application decision says dear Ju, thank you for your application after conducting the admissions committee has placed your application on the wait list whoa huh um, it says, please confirm your interest in being considered for admission from the waitlist by completing the survey. In addition to confirming your interest, we ask you to select a date you no longer wish to be considered for admission from the waitlist. Okay, so I got waitlisted. I thought I was denied. Um, so I'm going to go write my letter of continued interest and complete the survey to remain on the waitlist. Today is March 11th, 
and I just got another email from Loyola for my decision. So let me open it up. This is LMU Loyola Law School decision rendered. Dear Drew, thank you for your interest. Your application for admission and supporting documents have been reviewed. The admissions committee was impressed with your admission file and has placed your name on the waiting list. Okay, so I got waitlisted at Loyola today as well. One last school I was not able to film a reaction to was Case Western. I received a decision from them either May 2nd or May 3rd. Um, there was no reaction because I honestly didn't expect them to give me a decision because I applied back in November and for months there was nothing. So I honestly thought I would never hear back from them. But yes, I heard back and I was waitlisted. But I don't think I'm going to stay on the waitlist as I am already gearing towards a different law school. If you would like to comment down below where you think I will be starting law school this fall 2022, please go comment down below. Then I will see you in my next video. Bye!